Okay, hey guys. I'm with King here. King is a beautiful German Shepherd. Unfortunately, he scratched his nose on the crate one day because he freaked out, but that's another story. But um, I just want to show what it's like to get a dog like this that wanders a lot and lacks focus to, to start focusing. So a lot of it starts off with structure. So first things first, King, come here. Okay, good sit. It. And of course, I always come out first. That's just always the case. I'm, I don't want to be a, a, um, a threshold Nazi, but when it comes to structure, um, this is kind of important. Eventually I can relax once I realize that he has full structure, but I need that transition to be foolproof. So this is 100%. And you notice he's still back behind me waiting for me to say, okay, come on. It looks like it looks like Amazon was here earlier. No, ma mailman. Okay, so first thing is, I want him to understand if we're going to be walking or or going to be uh, going to potty. There's a difference. So right now he's looking, waiting for direction. So King, you want to go potty? You're gonna go potty. That generally means that he's going to be um, wandering off a little bit. And I want to get this out of the way first because I don't want him wandering off because he has to and I'm trying to force him to be um, focused towards me. So I'm going to let him do his thing. And I'm just going to test him real fast. King, come here. Come on. Good boy. I'm calling it back because I forgot the remote. Come on. So it just goes to show that, you know, I don't necessarily need the remote. The remote is for emergencies. Like, um, for instance, he sees a squirrel and um, even at that point, he's doing really well. He doesn't, he doesn't really need the remote. The remote is just an assurance. It's a leash. It's a limitless leash. Let me put this down. I need to put this. I like to clip this on my, on my pant. Okay. And he assumes the position. I open the door. Okay, come on. Good boy. Good boy. See? You're so good. Yes. Come on. I still haven't finished him to go. King, go potty. You want to go potty? Do you need to go potty boy? Okay, sit. Good sit. Now there's somebody coming by. Some children. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on you like this. Good boy. Okay, come on. Let's go. This way. Let me go ahead and put this away real fast. Okay. This is going to be a good test because there's a lot of children. So we're going to just walk. And um, periodically I'm just going to take the leash off. And see if he can focus. But the verbal cue that I have for this it would just be walk. So if he starts wandering like this, King, walk. Good walk. Good boy. And whenever I say good, he'll look at me because he knows he's going to get reward. Let's go. I'll say let's go or come on just to direct him. If I change directions, I may say this way. Walk. At this point, for me, this way. 
Leave it. At this point, he really doesn't need the prong collar. I'm just keeping it on him because I know that uh, we're going to have to deal with um, the transition. And with smart dogs, transitions can be tougher because he's going to be accustomed to what he's used to at home. So he's going to, going to see if he can get away with things. So as long as we uh, practice this, and that's one of the reasons I'm recording this. So, so um, King's parents can see how I walk him. So if King ever ends up being in front of me while I'm on leash, I may pull, I may tell him to stop. So in this case, stop, come here, come on. Good, let's go. And right here, stop, good, good stop. Good boy, okay. He does really well. Ultimately, I'm not fond of leashes. My goal isn't to make him uh, not pulling on the leash. My goal is for him to mind me 100% um, in public without the leash. That That is that is the ultimate test. Come on. Now he's probably sniffing around because he smells other dogs. That to me is perfectly fine. That's just a normal thing dogs like to do. So I really don't want to like restrict them 100%. That's why I like to go off leash. If I really need him to come, then he will come. But at this point, we're in traffic, traffic hour, and sometimes cars in this neighborhood goes a little fast. So I want him to be a little bit more uh, proximal aware, proximally aware. And if he ever starts to wander, I may say stop or this way. This way. This is a good spot. Stop. Good stop. Good sit. I'm going to take this off. And I have... I'm not worried at all because I have the remote collar to vibrate him if he needs an additional focus. The other dogs on the other side of the fence. Not worried about that at all. King is uh, very confident and has zero dog aggression or and human aggression he's a really well-rounded dog but he does lack some uh, well he's just a dreamer so he gets himself in trouble good, good potty Good potty boy. Here you go. Easy. Easy. That's my way of saying slow down. This way. Get him off the street. Let's walk. Da -da. Da -da. That's my warning cue. For me, I generally never say N-O because I don't know how effective it is. A lot of owners end up using that word too much. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. I vibrate. This way. And I walk. Leave it. Leave it. There's a cat. So I vibrate him. Leave it. Good boy. Good leave it. Good king. Good boy. Reward him for doing what I ask. So 
generally at night, I don't have him next to me like this. As long as he's within, you know, 10 yards, I'm okay. As long as I can see him and I see him turning to see where I am, then I know that he's fully aware of his, of his environment and is very mindful of my location. But right now, because like I said, this is about about 4.30 on a Friday. So traffic is about, start, about to start. Kids, the kids are getting off work, get, getting off school. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Come on. Life is just so much fun without the leash. And so there's that leash all. That's what that's why I'm holding the leash. If they ever have a concern, I tell them to come back. And he will. That to me is a hundred percent recall. Come on. King, come on. Let's go. Good boy. If I, if I really want to uh, get him to relax a little bit and take uh, be more at ease, I'll probably just tell him to go play. But at this moment, I'm not I'm not going to ask that because there's just too many cars. So I'm just gonna keep walking, and he will come to me eventually if I call him. King, come on, let's go, let's go, boy. Good boy. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Good boy. Yeah. <coughs> Good boy. Here you go. Now let's just say in that scenario that um that there was a squirrel and he was he was just too far away from me i'll press the vibrate uh, vibrate doesn't hurt at all vibrate is just to break his focus and uh we have to understand that dogs they act like they have add so we can't punish them for not hearing you the first time um that's just how it is but we just need to be understanding of the way they think Right, King? Good boy. Okay, so we're pretty much on our street. You can go play. Wait, not yet. There's a cat. Leave it. Come on, leave it. He's doing really well. He's trying so hard. I mean, it's just natural to want to play with another animal. But he knows what I expect. That was a good boy. That was good, leave it. Here you go. So this is a really good example of um, how uh, how balanced training works. Um, you could you could be proud that your dog isn't walking, uh, isn't pulling on the leash, and how you didn't. You have to use um, aversive methods of like prong collars and and choke collars. But ultimately, I don't think anyone can truly say that they have 100% um, recall 
unless you have a balance between rewards and punishment. And uh, as long as we're fully aware of when we punish, then we're going to have ourselves a good dog. I'm not, it's not like I'm on, I don't have a hair trigger to want to punish a dog. Um, that's just bad training. Um, yeah, you got yourself a well-balanced dog and you have full control over the dog. If I tell my, my son, if I had one, to come here, he better come. If he says hold on and he has good reason to, then, then I'm going to go let him play. Life is good. Right, King? Wanna go home? Let's go home. This way. Good boy.